Welcome everybody to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Brockton High. We've got undefeated Bridgewater Rayham coming in here at 11-0, going up against your Lady Boxers, coming in, coming in here at 7-4. And, and definitely we have something special for you on the floor today as uh, Bridgewater Rayham again comes in here undefeated. So Brockton's going to have to come out here with their A game and do something about containing number 33, Rebecca Tanis, for the uh, Bridgewater team. And Bridgewater's in their red outfits as Brockton is in their white. And we've got Jade Wink playing starting center going up against, excuse me, Shea Bolin. Number 33, Shea Bolin, for the um, Bridgewater Rayham. So here we go with the tip off, and uh, Bridgewater Rayham wins the tip off. They get it in the corner. Back outside, inside to the big man, but back out. They got 10 seconds left on the shot cock. Shot is in and out. And Bridgewater Rayham will retain the basketball as uh, I believe that was number three. Williams, one of the Williams sisters who uh, had the rebound, but her footing was uh, out of bounds. And they're going to call traveling. Good defense by Jayla Smith as she was all on, on that. So here comes the box, Lady Boxes. Williams inside to assist a back out. It's a bad pass. I think it was a miscommunication there. So nobody scored yet, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Trojan's long bomb is in and out, but a rebound and a foul. Let's see who went up strong for uh, Bridgewater Rahan. Number 14, Nina Morrison, so she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. She had good position, you'll see it right here on the replay. Three-point shot is taken, but inside right there, she gets her position, gets the rebound, and it goes right up quickly and is fouled. And that was on Nelani Montero. Her first. Free throw is missed. Looks like the boxes are playing 2-3 uh, zone. Shot is no good. Montero comes out there, but she's just, she's pressed real quickly, but somehow she was able to get it out of there. Here comes the Williams sister. Long bomb is in and out. That, that would have been nice if it would have went in, but came right back out, a little bit of spin on it. Trojans get it outside to the big man, and she misses the... Shot rebound, and here comes Elizabeth. She lays it up and in. Excuse me, that was Alexandria. Number 22 for the boxes. Brockton did a nice job getting the uh, pass down quickly down the court, and a good defense causes a turnover for the uh, Lady Trojans, so the boxes will retain the basketball. Elizabeth Williams will take it out. Looking for a sister. Almost a bad pass, but they was able to salvage it. And here they come, Lady Boxes. Inside the winch, takes a little pop in and out. Lady Trojans get it down quickly, but Brockton does a good job with the half court defense. 
And knocked out of bounds by Jade Went. She had her hands up. Good defense there. Long three is air ball. And nice defense where the Lady Trojans dribbled the ball out of bounds, or stepped out of bounds. Okay, Alexandra get, gets it up quickly. Elizabeth has it at the top of the key, tries to work it inside to her sister, and it's out of bounds. So the Lady Trojans will take over. So boxes lead 2-0 with 5.27 20, on the clock. Yeah, wow, that was a ticky-tack foul on Jade Went. Wow. Let's see here on the replay. I, I, I don't know where the foul was. Probably in the back, maybe, because the ref, the ref that called it was behind the um, players there, so tough call. Three-point shot is no good, and nice block. Out to Went, Went in the corner. Montero shoots it, no good. Gee, Montero could have followed a shot. They came right back in her area. Long bomb is no good, air ball, but Went with the rebound, and here come the Lady Boxes again. Still only 2-0 with 4.45 here in the first quarter. Shot is good by Elizabeth Williams, I believe. Worked inside. Posted up a little bit, made a nice shot. Four nothing, Lady Boxes. And it actually looks like the Lady Boxer playing one, two, two. Shot is good by number 11, Kaylee Mentulonis. Elizabeth. He's being D'd up, trying to get it into Went. Alexandria. Goes inside, and shot is missed. Here's a replay here on that long bomb. Right off the top of the glass and in. That was a pretty shot. Nice job by a replay, cl replay cl uh, crew. So Brockton got three subs in there. Long bomb is no good. Rebound Rebecca Tannis, and here come the Lady Boxers. Ooh, nice pass. Shot is missed. Golden opportunity, but the Lady Boxers fight back and get the. And that was number four. Lorenzo in there fighting for the ball, and it'll be Boxers' ball. Alexandra looks over the defense, drives to the basket. And they're going to call a jump ball, so that'll be Lady Trojans. So it'll be change of possession. Three oh four left here in this first quarter. Tight ball game, 4-3. to three. Lady boxes up by one. Yeah. 
and it's going to be a blocking foul, I believe. And they're going to call that on Rebecca Tannis. Caught the tail end of that, but. We've got Nina Morrison at the free, excuse me, we've got Kenzie Matulis. With two lowness at the free throw line. Second free throw temp is good. So Lady Trojans are pressing the Lady Boxes. And they get it to Elizabeth Williams. Went, bang. Jade went with the nice long three. Box is applying presser, pressure. Shot is partially blocked by Went. Nice job. Went on the big man, Shea Bolin. You see right here on the replay, the defense. Oh, this went with the long three. Nice rainbow jumper. And then she came back down the court and made a nice defensive play. Now she just lost the ball. And it's going to be Lady Trojan's ball. Is there getting two and three attempts? Lady Box is going to have to somehow box out and get some rebounds here on the defensive end of the court. Because right now the Lady Trojans are controlling the boards. So Matulonis will take the ball out for the Lady Trojans. She's got Shea Bolin right there in the paint. They get to they get it to Bolin. Back out top, long bomb is no good. And one of the boxes had the rebound, but she lost it. And one of the Lady Tro Trojans regained it and tried to put it right up and was fouled. So. Again, Lady Box is having a tough time on the defensive boards. So that's number two, I believe. Number 12, Kylie Peachy. Pichette, excuse me. And she makes her second free throw attempt, 7-6. Lady Boxes, minute 47 on the clock. Williams inside, nice pass. And the Fernandez misses the easy bunny. When you're playing against the Lady Trojans, you cannot miss those easy ones. You need every basket you can get. And nice steal by Lorenzo. They're going to call her a jump ball, but nice defense by Lorenzo. So it'll be Lady Box's ball. That was good defense by uh, the Lady Trojans. So Elizabeth Williams will take it out. Fernandez back to Williams. Williams, ooh, nice inside. And Lady Boxers throw it away. That was uh, King who threw it away. Long three is no good. Lorenzo with the rebound. Yeah. 
Williams over in the corner. Inside to assist her. Shot is no good. Fernandez almost had the rebound. Boxer did a nice job double teaming. Bowling, and here come the Lady Boxers again. Lorenzo driving to the basket. Shot is up and in. Coast to coast, Lorenzo with the ball. Nice ball control for the guard. And Fernandez is going to be called for foul. And you'll see the nice coast to coast here. Lorenzo drives right to the basket. Defense still moving. Nice play. Good no call right there. Very little contact. So Bridgewater's behemoth, number 33. Shea Bowling will come out for a minute. Boxers need to take advantage right here. Get some rebounds at both ends of the court. Shot clock down. One stolen by Williams. Gets the shot off, but no good. And if it would have went in, I don't think it would have counted. What exciting first quarter. The boxers hung in there with some great defense. You'll see it right here on the replay. Shot is beautifully blocked by the Williams sister, and she just missed from getting that shot off. So it's a 9-6 to six boxer, Lady Boxer lead here at the end of the first quarter, and that's because of good defense by the Lady Boxers, and especially with uh, containing Shea Bolin of uh, Bridgewater Rayham. So they'll get a well-deserved rest for a second, but they can ill afford them have many turnovers they have to again they have to play their a game that was a pretty i'd give them a b plus for that first quarter where you can see right there on your screen nine to six this is miles jackson here at staff gymnasium on a cold evening here on the Brockton High campus. Lady Box is trying to come out of here with a upset and break Bridgewater Rayham's uh, win streak. They've got 11 game win streak going on in this uh, regular season. No losses. So it'll be Bridgewater Rayham's ball. Oh, 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 that looked like double dribble, and it's a turnover. Yeah, that looked like double dribble. Delayed call. So here comes Williams. Alexandra looking, tries to get inside to Went. Went takes a shot, bang! Nice shot from the free throw line, Jade Went. from Alexandra Williams on the assist. 11-6, Lady Boxer lead. They're double teamed and they're gonna call a foul. You'll see right here, Went, nice deep, nice little pass right there. Went takes the shot, doesn't hesitate and hits it. And they're gonna have to continue doing that. So at the free throw line, I believe is number 12. Kylie Pachi. Missed shot. Oh, up and down. Oh, traveling, they're gonna call it traveling. Boxes, Lady Boxes did a nice job getting the ball down quickly. They just couldn't quite capitalize. And that was uh, Alexandra with Williams with the turnover. Fox is playing that 1-2-2 two, two on defense. Get it inside, back outside. Long bomb is off the rim. Nice boxing out by 
Williams there gets it to Jayla Smith, and she is fouled. Nice job by on the defensive boards by Elizabeth Williams. She boxed out textbook style, got that rebound, and dished it down the court quickly to her teammate. So Elizabeth will take the ball out. Looking for Jade Went. Williams gets in the paint. Jade Went. No good, but little Jayla's there. Puts it up and in. Jayla Smith in the perfect position. And she does that regularly. She'll get right under there with the with the tall ones and fight for the basketball. Good hustle. Wow, lollipop dish off and they're gonna call an offensive foul. You'll see right here on the replay, Jayla Smith goes right in, gets the rebound, puts it right back, doesn't hesitate and gets it in. So Box has got a 13-6 lead with 6.15 here in the second quarter over the undefeated Lady Trojans. Went. Williams at the top of the key. Tries to get inside and is fouled. Alexandra was fouled. Let's see if she'll have a chance. Nope, they're gonna, no, no bonus yet, no one-on-one. -on -one. So they'll take it from underneath the uh, basket. And they get it to win in the corner, back out top to Williams. Back over to Alexandra. She drives behind the back pass to Elizabeth. Gang, bang! Wow. Great communication, great passing by the Lady Boxers and a timeout by the Lady Trojans with 5.42 on the clock, a 15 to six Lady Boxer lead. So you'll see the replay right here. Behind the back there to her sister, and she hits that little shot, a little 10 footer. And that's what the box, that's another thing the boxers have to do. They have to make their shots. They have to make their shots along with rebounding. If they can put that equation together, they'll stay right with this uh, Lady Bridgewater team till the end. So good hustle, and again, 5.42 left in the second quarter. And head coach Christopher Conley has his team ready to play this evening. Boxers coming in here at seven wins and four losses. And they know they've got a, a mountain to climb here. Still a lot of basketball left. Lady Trojans with the ball. Back out top. Inside, back out. Long bomb is no good. And travel. So the Lady Boxers luck out there because again, again, Bridgewater Rayham got the offensive board. It's just as she traveled. Look at that drive, loop shot in and out. It's a nice drive by Williams. Lady Trojans get it quickly back and miss, easy miss. L Lady Trojans come out of there Back out. No good. And still Lady Trojans basketball. Brockton's fighting, but they just can't seem to get a hold of that basketball as it's bouncing uh, the Lady Trojans way at the moment. Ooh, textbook, textbook move right there. By Bolin. And she'll go to the free throw line, chance for a uh, 
uh, uh, three-point play. You'll see it right here. Inside, post up, little hook shot. Uses her body to protect the ball. And she makes her three-point play 15 to nine. Wade to Jayla. Back out top to Williams. She spins and she's gonna be fouled. So it'll be taken out underneath by uh, Williams. Montero. Williams back out top. Partially blocked. And thrown away. Who's that? Williams and gets fouled. Nice play. She stole the ball. Do we have this on replay? Yes, we do. Right there. And she put it up nicely and was fouled. So... So Alexandra will be at the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. 4.13 on the clock. Ooh. Air ball there. I don't know what happened. Too early to say she's tired. So back come the Lady Trojans. Bolas tries to get it inside, back outside to Bolin. Long bomb is no good. And Bolin was waiting for it right there. And Williams is fouled. And that foul was on uh, Matula, Matula Onis. And looks like she's okay. Williams makes the first free throw. Seven point boxer lead with uh, 350 on the clock. And just off the rim in front. Back come the Lady Trojans. Bolin bringing the ball down, the big man. And there's going to be a foul. That was on Dacey. Victoria Dacey wasn't a smart foul because um, Brockton is in the bonus. So Elizabeth will go to the free throw line. So we got a one-on-one -on -one situation. She makes the first free throw. Free throws are very critical for the boxers this evening. They need every point they can get to stay with this um, dangerous Lady Trojan team. She makes the second free throw attempt. Nine point boxer lead. Way across court, inside. Nice job there by uh, number 14, Nina Morrison. Gets inside the paint, posts right up and puts it in. Box L stolen by the Lady Trojans, and here they come. Bolin puts it up and in. Lady Boxers get it down quickly. And Chris Conley calls a timeout with 301 here. And the Lady, Lady Trojans have cut it down to uh, five points. You can see right there the big man can run with it. Bolin. And she's really made her impact this last two or three baskets for um, Bridgewater Ram. 
So we've got a timeout here in the second quarter. Boxers hanging on to a five point lead. I'm Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium. And we'll look at the replay of this previous play before the whistle. You see they get it right across, right inside. She just turns around and posts up and puts it right in. Again, that was uh, Nina Morrison. And that was just textbook, textbook working the ball inside quickly and getting a quick two. Boxers are going to have to somehow defend that a little bit better. And to be honest, they've been doing a pretty good job up until the last, last minute or two. Let's just say the last minute. All of a sudden, just a mental defensive breakdown by the Lady Boxers, which has shrunk their lead down here to five points. So they'll take it out. Williams. Back outside. Went. Long bomb. No good, but Went gets the rebound. Lorison. Lorenzo, excuse me. And Boland blocks the shot. Wow, look at that pass. Just threw it out there for a nice leap. Went. Bang. Nice three pointer by Went. 219 and counting. Back come the Lady Trojans. Box is still in that 1 2 2 defense. Ooh. Nice job there by Went with the defense. Back come the boxes. Williams drives to the basket. Good defense by the Lady Trojans. Williams kind of forced it. Wow. Nothing you could do right there. 23-19. Ooh, nice fake. And no luck trying to put that ball in. I like the effort. And a foul on Tannis. Good defense by Tannis. We'll see the replay, I believe, on the Trojans fast break. Look at that. Nice pass by Bolin. Just nicely puts it ahead for... Uh, Morrison, and basically, Bridgewater, we've seen the real Bridgewater Rayham in the last two or three minutes, making a run at the uh, boxer lead. It's 23-19 at the moment. And this is what Jade Wentz has been doing all in this first half. We just need a little bit more from Jade. Continue on in that second half. Nice shot. Second free throw attempt is no good. Bodies on the floor, and it looks like it'll be jump ball. It'll be box of possession. Lorenzo. Lorenzo's got to go after that ball. And Fernandez comes out of there and, and is fouled. Good rebound by Fernandez. So Fernandez will go to the free throw line. Be one on one. Shot, first shot is made. I'm right here in the action. She just the ball. 
Yeah, that looked like it was out by um, Bridgewater Rainham. They're gonna get a break here. And coach, we'll see right here. Let's see. Yeah, she touched the ball. She touched the ball, so Bridgewater Rainham gets a break right there. Good replay there. And of course, I was in the action. And what do we got? Timeout. Oh, they call a tech. The coach got a tech, and I, I don't blame him. I would have got a tech. I would have been called a tech, too. Second one is made, so it's a three-point boxer lead. And Bridgewater Rayham has the ball. With 58 seconds left. Lady Trojans could tie it on a three, but they're working it inside, back out. Three-point shot is good. Nothing but bottoms, it's a tie game, 24 up. Back come the lady boxes. Williams. And blocked. Good defense there by the lady Trojans. Back comes Brid Bridgewater Rayham, long bomb. And over the back, nice blocking out there on defense by Number three, Elizabeth Williams. She did textbook blocking out. See this long bomb. Nothing but bottoms. And um, Lady Trojans are really starting to heat up here late in the uh, second quarter as they have tied this basketball game with a power surge. Second free throw attempt is made. Inside, almost stolen by Williams. Ah. Just effort all the way there by the uh, Lady Trojans. You'll see the replay here. Just relentless on offense. Shot is missed. Nobody there for the Lady Boxers. And number 21, I believe Bella Calvini made the shot. So there you have it. You see the score, a one point Lady Trojan lead. They battled back first, furiously in that last three or four minutes of that second quarter. So we look for a very exciting half in the uh, second half. Coming up, I'm Miles Jackson for BCA Sports. We'll be right back with second half action. Cars are complicated. Oil pressure, speedometer, tachometer. Complicated. Regular drive, crazy drive. That was too far. Dipstick. Looks good. I don't even know what this thing is. The average car has about 30,000 parts. And the most dangerous part isn't a couple of tons of metal around you. It's a couple of ounces in your pocket. If you want to stay safe, put your distractions away. It's not that complicated. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. We got the Lady Boxers going up against the undefeated Lady Trojans. It's a 26-25 Halftime Trojan lead. You see it there on your screen, and uh, the Lady Boxers have been hanging in there. For the most of the game, and especially in that second quarter, they've had like a seven-point lead around that many points, and um, the uh, Lady Trojans came charging down there at the end about last two or three minutes and uh, really turned the tables on the Lady Boxers. So they just got to stay focused, bring their A-plus game in the second half, and we'll see what happens. Lady Trojans, again, taking it out. 
And they throw it away. Right away, Williams goes up. Shot is no good. Golden opportunity right there. They could not capitalize. Back come the Lady Trojans. Billings, bang, in and out. And Williams comes out of there with the basketball. Lady Trojans. There's no movement by the Lady Bask, uh, Lady Boxes, and they lose it. And it'll be out of bounds. Lady Boxes lucked out right there. They really got to clamp down and really concentrate and go after every ball. They can ill afford to make mental mistakes in the corner. Shot is no good. Little runner by Williams. Bowling inside, little hook shot is no good. Went with the rebound, good defense. Almost throws it away, but Williams has the ball. Good defense by Went inside the paint. Up against Bowling. Lady boxes inside to Went, and she is fouled. Nice job by Elizabeth Williams to get it inside a zip pass right underneath to Went, and she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. You'll see it right here on the replay. Little bullet pass and Went is hammered. And she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Went makes the first free throw attempt. Box is tied again. Second free throw. And now Williams gets a rebound, but is blocked. Nice defense there. But nice rebounding by uh Alexandra, as she went in there and battled for the basketball, tried to put it right back up, but it was blocked. Gets it out to her sister. Williams calls it out, decides to drive. Nowhere to go. Went, somehow comes with the basketball, comes up with it. Went. Back out top to Williams. Williams takes the bomb. No good, but there's Montero inside to Williams. Nice pass and nice bunny. Nice play by the Lady Boxes. Unselfish play by Montero. Zip pass right underneath. Shot is no good. Three-pointer air ball, and it'll be Lady Boxes. You'll see it right here. Nice offensive play here. Good block out. Uh, Montero right there to Williams. She puts it right off the glass and in. Boxers need more of that. 5.55 here in the third quarter. Went and back out to Jayla. Back out top. Montero with the long bomb. Good! Big three-pointer. Boxers take the lead, 31-26. Corner bomb is good. So Lady Trojans answer with their own three-pointer. Williams in the corner to Went. And shot is good. It looked like she was fouled, but no call. Nice zip pass in there for Went. She was ready for it. Plays picking up here, getting really intense. Little spin around move, no good. Lady Trojans come out of there. Nice little pass underneath. Lady Trojans come back out in the corner. Shot is no good. And Montero comes out of there with a rebound. 4.43 on the clock, and here come the Lady Boxes. Williams in the corner. Ah, bad pass by Montero. And uh, not a good pass by Bridgewater Rainham, so it'll come back. See on the replay. Montero throws it down for money. Nice to see uh, Montero contribute because she can hit that shot. Long bomb, no good. Went, gets her own rebound. Montero tries to throw it up, and it's a jump ball. 
That was excellent effort by Jade Went. Followed her shot and almost made the great play. Well, she saved it. Montero looking for somebody. Williams and his foul. Nice, nice ball movement by Williams without the basketball and his foul underneath trying to get the shot off. Good play by Montero to get it to her. So Alexandra Williams will shoot two free throws, I believe. First one is good. Four twelve on the clock here in the third quarter. Second shot is in and out. So a 34-29 lead for the Lady Boxes. Bowling. Wow. Wide open and Christopher. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Christopher Conley was calling out some defense there. <coughs> Williams with the shot in and out again. Just can't take catch a break, but she gets the steal. Back come the Lady Boxes. <coughs> and Bridgewater Rayham calls a timeout. Nice defense. William, you'll see the replay. Long bomb by the big man. Look at that. She does it all. Bowling gets rebounds. Throws it out. <coughs> you see Coach Conley talking to his to his team, especially Went. I guess he wants her to come out there with Bowling. If she's going to shoot that three, she's got to be out there with her. So 3.36 left in this third quarter. Lady Boxes are hanging in there with a two-point lead. They still really don't have an answer for bowling. Box is playing that 1 2 2 defense. For the most part, they've made the Lady Trojans earn their shots. For the most part, I mean, there's been some gimmies, but nice, nice block by Went. Montero holds it up, gets it to Williams. So good defense by Jay. Well, Jay went. Montero throws the bomb. No good. Went. Gets it up and in. Nice hustle by Jade Went. Boxes up by four. In and out. In the corner. Bowling. Air ball. And Jade Went hangs in there underneath. Makes the um, jump ball call. See the replay here. Watch Went come in there, move in position, gets the ball, puts it right back up off the glass. That's not an easy shot, folks. Nice job by Jade Went, showing her senior leadership. Bowling. Not much you can do right there, folks. Wow. Williams. Wow. Take a nice ball hailing by Williams. Kind of caught myself just watching the play. But she will go to the free throw line, a foul on the Lady Trojans with 2.31 on the clock here in the third quarter. Williams makes his first, makes her first uh, free throw attempt. Okay, 
Second free throw attempt is good. Four point Lady Boxer lead. Back out top in the corner to Bolin. And there's a whistle. And a turnover. I'm not sure what they call, but it was a turnover on the Lady Trojans. And they're pressing. A little light press. Williams looking. Went, almost took the shot, but she realized she was way too far out. Williams. And timeout, Brockton, with 147 left on the clock. The Lady um, Trojans are playing some tenacious defense on the boxes. Having a tough time finding a shot. And there's two seconds left on the shot clock for the Lady Boxers to get a shot off. 147 left in this third quarter. Boxes up, you see on your screen, by four points. Coach Conley has finished talking to his team. And it'll be Lady Boxers basketball. They have two seconds left on the shot clock, so it's going to have to be quick. Williams will uh, inbound the ball. Almost shot. Lorenzo got the shot off. Bowling, wow. And Went was out there. And they're gonna be a foul as Williams had the ball. This is what she can do from the outside. And she's been doing it all night. Shea Bowling. So 125 left in this third quarter. And stolen by the Lady Trojans. Slow spin move, wow, and fouled. Wow, that was a great move. Great defensive steal. That's number 24, Kenzie Matulonis. You'll see it right here, she steals the ball. Williams gotta come, up, come, at, come to the basketball. And was fouled. A little ticky-tack foul, but she was fouled. Trojans has a, have a two-point lead with one minute, 18 seconds left in this third quarter. Long bomb. Nobody in there to grab the rebound. And another foul by Elizabeth Williams. And that's her third. You'll see it right there. Yeah, that was another ticky-tack foul. Boxes, Lady Box is really not getting a break here in this uh, third quarter. Last two fouls coming down the court. Been kind of ticky-tack. But in any event, Lady, Lady um, Trojans put more points on the board and they've got a four point lead. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Lady Boxers need a basket. 
Lorenzo fires one up, air ball. Fernandez had the rebound, but it was taken away from her. Long bomb is air ball. And a foul before the shot. And they're going to call a foul on Jayla Smith. Drive is no good, but there's a foul. <laughs> Lady Trojans, they're really something. They're driving to the basket. They're shooting the, from the outside, hitting their shots from the outside, and driving to the basket. Just all fats of their offensive game is on. Eighteen seconds left in this third quarter. Jade went with the ball. Williams behind the back drives and makes the shot, and they're gonna call. They're gonna call offensive foul. Yes, they are. Wow. Let's see here. Williams. Ah, a lot of acting there. A lot of acting. Wow, tough break there for the Williams. I believe that was Alexandra, tough break there. Nice shot though. So 7.9 seconds left on the clock. Wow, nice drive right there by number four, Marissa. Bovias. And one of the Williams sisters, that's number 22. She's fresh, Alexandra Williams. They call a tech. And she is gone. And that's going to hurt the boxes here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. And, um, Elizabeth Williams is really upset. And I believe she's gone, number 22. Yeah. A little turmoil over there on the Brockton bench there. They are upset, but they've got to keep their cool. They've still got a whole quarter to go. Right now, 47-38. The Lady Trojan just put on a, a exhibition in that third quarter. And the boxers tried their best to stay with them, but too much bowling. And and her company of um, Lady Trojans. <laughs> so both Williams sisters are sitting down. We know one of them was ejected. It's two 
shots in the ball, correct? Yeah, looks like they're discussing about Bridgewater Rainham seems to think it's their ball, but um, it is the Lady Boxers ball and a dead ball foul. It will be the Lady Boxers basketball. Witt with the long bomb. Ooh, in and out. And good hustle by the Lady Boxers. It'll be their ball. Boy, Went almost hit that shot. And it's going to be a foul. As Fernandez was fouled. So the Lady Boxers will take it from uh, the side court in front of the Boxer bench. Wow, off the glass, no good. Back up, no good. Third time, no good. And it'll still be the Lady Boxers ball. Nice hustle right there. They got three attempts. They just couldn't quite finish it off. A lot of time on the 30-second clock. Long bomb, no good. And over the back, they're gonna call Montero. Oh, no foul, it uh, hit the wires, so no foul on Montero. Lady Trojans come back, get it, try to get inside to uh, Bo uh, Bolin. But good defense caused the uh, errant pass. That's Layla DePina. Excuse me, that's, uh, no, excuse me, that's number 20. Canary King. Shot, no good. And it's gonna be a foul over the back. Nice job of uh, setting her position underneath for that offensive board was Fernandez. And she will go to the free throw line. And nope, she won't go, it's still not, no, no penalty shot. I mean, they're not in the penalty yet, so they'll take it out from underneath. And they go, coach calls a timeout. With seven minutes exactly left in this fourth quarter, boxes are down by nine. And you can see Coach Conley talking to his team. Big contrast from um, in that second quarter. Lady Boxers a little look a little bit down, but not out. So Montero will take it out from underneath. Ooh, a little spin move by King out top to Jayla.
They get it out quickly underneath and in and out. Fernandez with the rebound. King battling. Excuse me. Uh, that's King with the ball, number 20. And back out. Comes over here by the monitor. A lot of action over here where I'm at. Ooh. King's got to do a better job. And she throws it away. But luckily the Lady Trojans throw it away too. Yeah, Kanari King, she's going to have to really do a better job protecting that basketball when she comes down the court. She's just a sophomore, but tough way to learn against this undefeated Bridgewater Rayham team, but that's what happens. Sometimes you get thrown in the fire. Okay, Jade went. Tried to get over to King, but not a good pass by Jade. Jayla King, Jayla with the ball. Jayla Smith somehow came out of there with the steal. King steps out of bounds. And she's really having a tough time in this fourth quarter. Bridgewater really applying the pressure on the guards. Spin move, no good. In the corner, she takes the shot in and out. Bowling just goes over everybody and lightly throws it up and in. And they're going to call travel on King. And she's really having a tough time. She's going to get a break. Fox is down by 11. Montero steals the ball. Can she finish it? No, she can't. But nice defense anyway by Montero. And good defense on the Lady uh, Trojans. Long three is no good. And it'll be Lady, Bo Lady, Bas uh, Lady Boxer basketball. Long three. And it'll be box of ball. Jade Went could have took a step or two in. I think that was a shot out of frustration. You saw that right there. That was a beautiful transition. Stolen. Back comes Bridgewater. And Bowling just cleans it up. Shot is, goes to the basket and is good. Nice job by Jade Wink going to the basket. Taking matters in her own hands. Makes the shot and will have a chance for a three point play. 13 point Lady Trojan lead at the moment. 4-11 on the clock.
And she makes her three-point play. Back come the Lady Trojans. Box is down by 12. Bolin misses the easy one. And Bridgewater Rayham comes out of there with the ball. Oh, still can't hold on. They cannot hold on to that um, defensive um, rebound. Finally, Tannis. Stolen, and it'll be a foul. And without the Williams sisters in there, Brockton have a tough time at the guard position is Bridgewater Rainham smells blood and is coming out and attacking the Brockton offense. And it's paying off. That's Kenzie on the free throw line. Who's played a big part in this um, in this um, Lady Trojan soon to be victory? We've got three thirty on the clock. Box is down by fourteen. Nice inside pass to Tannis. Montero to, uh, to Tannis, and she was ready for it. Easy two. Long bomb is no good. And they're gonna call jump ball. And it'll be, um, it'll be um, Lady Trojan's possession. Shot is missed, air ball. Jump ball, it'll be Lady Box's ball. Nice job by Tannis. So back come the boxes. 2.35 on the clock. The foul was on uh, number four. Oh, yeah, that was on Lorenzo. Second free throw attempt is good. Thirteen point boxer deficit. Make that fourteen with two twenty three on the clock. Stay low. Stay, stay. Ooh, behind nice. And she is fouled. Went with her dribbling skills. Goes to the paint. And she'll go to the free throw line. Let's see this. Behind the back, in the paint, and is fouled right there as she goes up for the shot. And she'll have a chance to make two. First free throw attempt is missed. And she makes her second free throw attempt. Long bomb is no good. Rebound went. 
And here comes Jade. Lorenzo comes in, shot is blocked. And Bolin is all over the court this evening. Shea Bolin. She does it all. Went, bang. Jade went with Bolin right in her face. Take that. Brings the crowd to their feet. Little runner, no good. Went with the rebound. Back come the boxes. Jay with the long bomb. Almost in. And Jay comes in and, and is called for the foul. That was a good hustle play by Jade Went. You see that long rainbow shot. Good lollipop. All net shot by Jade Went. And at the free throw line for the um, Bridgewater Rayham Lady Trojans is number five. Excuse me, number four. Buvias. Marissa makes her second free throw attempt. And she's been a big part of this game too. Just a big team effort by this lady Trojan team. Stolen. And shot is good. And they're going to call a foul. You'll see the, she picks her pocket. And lays it up and in, number 24, Matulonis. She's been a big part of this uh, Lady Bridgewater team on this victory this evening. 55 seconds left on the clock. And it'll be um, boxer ball. King with it, drive to the basket and makes the shot. Nice job by King. So a hard fought battle here by the Lady Boxers this evening. Unfortunately, they're gonna come out of the come out of here with a loss. But a good effort. They had a little mental breakdown there in the third quarter with the Williams sisters, but overall they came in here to, to give the Lady Trojans a little of what they got, and they did. For the most part, they hung in there but just a little bit too much of uh, Bolin and the rest of her crew. And that's why they're 11-0, getting ready to be 12-0. And, and again, Bolin is only a freshman. Shea Bolin, a freshman. And she's got a, a career ahead of her. Bridgewater going to try to run out this clock a little bit. <clears throat> and they're going to call a foul on King. I 
can't see her number who's it at the free throw line. She made her first free throw attempt, made her second one, and that's number three, Victoria Dacey. King drives to the basket, lays it up and misses. Tannis tries to get it up there and she's fouled, so she'll go to the free throw line with 15 seconds left on the clock. So the Lady Boxers will drop to seven and five. And the Bridgewater Rainham Lady Trojans will stay undefeated at 12 and zero. Oh. Nice shot by Tannis. Oh, excuse me, I just been notified they're 14 and zero. Oh. Thank you very much. So, the, so they come in here at 13 and zero oh and leave with one more Notch on their belt. And there you have it, folks. Lady Boxers lose to Bridgewater 63 to 50. Here at Staff Gymnasium. And for most of the game, it was a hard fought battle. But uh, Bridgewater Rayham was a little bit too much for the uh, Lady Boxers this evening. So there you have it, folks. I'm Miles Jackson, along with our crew. We got Mike, the postman, down in the um, truck with his um, partner down there, and Sam, Sam the man. And we got up there on camera, uh, Phil. So there you go. I'm not even going to pronounce Phil's last name. But we appreciate all the help from the BCA sports staff. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action from Staff Gymnasium. We'll see everybody next time.